Aloha and welcome to Knitted Paradise, where the needles are clicking and the yarn is squishy. My name is Lucia and you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Pearl of the Pacific. Well, welcome everybody, new and returning viewers, to episode 55. Today is Sunday, December 28th, and I'm calling this episode Hats Galore, because there are a lot of hats. <laughs> You'll see. Um, I hope you all had a very happy Christmas and got to spend lots of fun time with your family and friends. We sure did. Um, we went over to our friend's house and we had some, we decorated cookies and we watched some movies and we played some games and I went and picked up my brother from the airport. So all in all, it was good. And we've had uh, some restful days since then, so that's been really nice. I've been telling my brother this is not a normal um, schedule for us. Normally we're very busy, but for the past few days we've had absolutely nothing going on, which is kind of nice. So we got to just kind of stay home, sleep in. You know, our big outing was like food shopping or, you know, drive around town or something. So it's kind of weird, but kind of nice. So that's what's been going on for me this week. Um, so let's jump right in. We have Below the Conch Shell. The, really the big announcement is that we're nearing the end of the accessories knit along. There's only a few days left, so I'll close that thread at the end of the month and open up the one for January, which is um, anything new that you cast on. And um, I haven't decided, you know, you have to do at least a couple rows. You can't like just cast it on, but you know, at least be committed to working on this project. Um, you know, I don't want you to just cast on 50 things and then, you know, end up ripping most of them out just to get more entries. So, you know what I mean? Anything you're going to cast on, um, you know, however far you get in on the project, it doesn't matter just as long as you cast it on in January. So that's the, the basic rules for that. Uh, I don't have a prize for that yet, but the prize for the accessories knit along is a skein of silver spun. And that is, I can show you the one that I have here that's wound up. And um, I don't have the thing with me. But it's a, a cotton blend yarn with silver in it. And I'm planning on making gloves out of mine. I'll probably cast on in January. So I just haven't gotten to it yet. And uh, yeah, so you will get a skein of that. Uh, so I'll be drawing for that next episode, so get your things in. This is actually the most amount of entries we've had so far, so that's really exciting. All right, on the island, we I have two things. I have the Gelato Giraffe by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears podcast. That's what she looks like, or he looks like. The giraffe, not Kay. <laughs> just in case you were wondering. Um, if you don't watch the Bakery Bears podcast, you should. It's really awesome. So I have lots of little pieces for it. I have the body. I have the legs. I have the arms and the ears and the horns. The only thing I don't have yet is the tail. So here are the arms. I love how on the arms and the legs the yarn's striped, which is really fun, but on the body it more kind of pooled. I mean it's not as stripey, but it's still stri slightly stripey. We've got two little ears and two little horns. So I just have to make the tail and then stuff it and seam it all together. And I'm not going to do the cardigan because um, I'm sending it to my cousin's son uh, who just turned one a little while ago. And uh, they've like decorated his whole nursery in giraffes. And um, so he's really into giraffes or they're really into him being into giraffes whenever <laughs> you look at it. So I'm going to send that off to them as soon as it's done. Um, the other thing I have on the needles is a hat, which is coming along quite quickly. I'm calling this the Eye of Partridge hat, 
because it's the same stitch pattern as an eye of partridge heel heel flap it's a slip stitch thing so on one round you slip one knit one slip one knit one all the way around then the next round you knit and then the next one you knit one slip one knit one so it's the opposite um, so that's what it looks like and this is out of geek string sunwell in sonic rainbow and it is very bright and it's coming along quite quickly i did a lot of that today while we were at our friends playing some games and um i'm probably ready for the decreases pretty soon oh i forgot to say um the gelato giraffe is out of lorna's lace is sport and this is the mason colorway and then the contrasting is the silver. So that his, that's his feet and uh, oh, I have his nose somewhere too. That's in there somewhere. So hat number one, which will probably be done today or tomorrow, very soon. Um, let's see. That's it for what actually got worked on this week, besides the things that are finished. So let's move on to set sail and then some more hats. So, I finished, actually we'll start from the beginning. So, I finished three hats this week and they're all the triple swell hat. Surprise, surprise. People wanted me to knit them hats. And so I was like, well, I guess you're all getting the triple swell hat because they wanted something that was slightly slouchy. So, this one's for my mom. This is Malabrigo Rios in the lettuce colorway. And this is for her best friend, which is Malabrigo Rios in the glitter colorway. And this is Spud and Chloe sh uh, sweater in the beluga. So I finished three hats. Ta -da! And these two I knit up in a day, a piece. So this was one day and this was the next day. And then this I worked on the next day. And then I realized it was too big. I think I showed it last time. It was too big. I ended up ripping it out, casting on less stitches, and um, taking out a full repeat of the, like, repeat this way. Like a, anyway, taking out a repeat of the, uh, the lace chart. Or the lace. Um, the stitch pattern. There's, it's charted and written. And if you're new, this is the hat pattern I designed and released at the beginning of December. So, oh, it's still a little damp on the top. So this one's for my coworker, who I knit the black hat for, and she wanted another one. And then these will get shipped off to Hawaii pretty soon with the other thing I finished, which was the Foolproof by Louise Zass Bangham out of Mrs. Crosby satchel um, which is their single ply fingering in varied bunting which is this color and french chambray which is this color and it turned out really really long Ta -da! and remember last time when i was saying i was running out of yarn right at the end i ended up finding something in my stash it was actually another single ply um that it was close enough that I could just do the last like two rows in and um, then bind it off and weave it in and ta-da! So it actually, if you do it twice, it's still pretty long. Um, if you pull it a little tighter and you want a little warmer, you could do it three times and it still gives enough room that it's not in your face. but. So this is going to my mom for her birthday, which is actually in a couple days. So it's not actually going to get to Hawaii on time, but that's going to be for her. And so that's what I finished, three hats and a cowl. The cowl didn't really have a whole lot. I think I had like two rows and then I had to weave in all of the ends and block it. So that got done. Um. Yeah, from the mainland, I got some books for Christmas. Uh, a lot of books for Christmas, actually. I got 
two books by the Yarn Harlot or Stephanie Pearl McPhee. And I got At Knit's End, which I think was one of her earlier ones. And then Things I Learned from Knitting, whether I wanted to or not. So I've been reading my way through this one, which is really fun. And um, then I'll probably go to this one. But this one's perfect because it's just in these little sections of, um, you know, two or three little pages. You know, where it's like, the 26th thing. There's more where that came from. And then, you know, it's these two and then that page. So they're really quick little reads, perfect for, you know, right before bed. You don't really want to, you know, read something too engrossing. But they're funny because, of course, the yarn hard is hilarious. So they can be very engrossing, some of them. But they're a little more light, lighthearted. So I'm very excited about these two. And I also got the Up Down All Around Stitch Dictionary, which I'm also very excited about. So there will be some more designs coming out of this book. So for me, my friend who gave it to me said she was flipping through it. She's not a knitter. She's like, hmm, I see some patterns in there that I really like that I may be requesting you make things without stitch pattern. I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> it's kind of nice. It's almost like a cat a knit catalog. It's like, okay, flip through and see what you want. And so I also like that it's on rings. So when you have it laying open, it just stays open. So that's really nice. So I'm really excited about that. I can get it to go back the way it was. So those are the knitting related things that I got over the holidays. Yeah, I didn't get any yarn, but that's okay because I have plenty of yarn and I don't really need any more right now. So that's fine with me. Uh, all right, I don't really have anything for flora and fauna, but I do have something from my holiday. We have been putting together our Christmas winter Lego village, and so I thought I'd show you something else from there. So, it wasn't this morning, it was yesterday morning we put together the post office, which was a set that they came out with two years ago, I think. Anyway. So part of it is this little Lego car, little delivery man, and they've got little presents in the back. So that's really cute. And then it comes with a gazebo, little dog, and a guy playing the saxophone. And then on the back there's little like wreaths and things it's really cute and we've discovered that we have a cat um, if you're a new viewer you don't know this but if you're returning for you know we have a cat who likes to eat or rather play with Legos and especially the little figures or like the little presents or things like that so the way we figured out how to cat proof our village basically is to make sure that all of the things that can be stuck on something are stuck on something and then we're less likely to find them in random places on the floor. So, you know, normally they hang out, you know, just kind of in the village, but sorry, my nose is really itchy. Um, we've stuck them all to things because we want them not to disappear. So <laughs> that's how we figured out how to create a village and have it up and enjoy it without worrying about Godzilla cat terrorizing it. So that's how we've cat proofed it. And they've got little snow on the top of the gazebo and a little star. A big star, really. If you're looking Lego minifig proportions, it's a big star. And then, of course, we have the post office itself. And here is the front of the post office. So we've got the guy shoveling snow here. We've got the lady delivering her mail. We've got some places to d put your mail in and you can walk inside the store and I'll show you the back here oh also why are you looking at the front Ooh, I moved it there's a brick with the light that shows you the storefront 
which I think is really cool. So in inside here, there is of course the place where you have mail. And there's another place where that's the the bag that the carrier would use. And um, you can kind of see it right in here. There's like the prices for mailing things and this is the counter. So you walk in, you know, on this side and you would stand over here like this is the, the lady that takes the mail. So she's over here. Oh, her hair got all messed up. Her hair is all crooked, lady. Um, so she stands over here and, you know, takes your mail from you and puts it in the, the, the basket for the, the truck to come pick it up and take it out. And, yeah. So that's the inside. Here's, I guess, where you can buy a envelopes to mail things or a box of what is this one? Oh, I can't get it. Oh, see, here's where you can buy a box to mail stuff. So, all right, let's make sure let's go back in the little bin. Go back in. There we go. Anyway, so that is the Let me stick the lady on the front here so she doesn't roll around the back. It's coming up. That's all right. So this is the post office. Ta-da! So tune in next week to see another section of it. That part's coming up. I'll get that later. Oh, you got to show me the truck. Oh, yeah, show the truck. Oh. My brother's sitting right over here building something else, so he wants to, me to show the truck that he oh. built. So this is a snow plow that he built this morning, which he's very proud of. And the snow plow, actually. Hmm? Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Sorry, they're correcting me over here. But and the snow the plow chainsaw. goes up and down. The chainsaw oh, here's Massacre. The Chainsaw Massacre, man. <laughs> <laughs> so this is part of what he's building. Um, so that guy chops wood and then puts it over here, but... It's kind of it's kind of an intense chainsaw when you look at it. It's really intense. Anyway, but there's lots of little tools in there for Chainsaw Massacre Man. And then there's snowplow driving truck dude. But the snowplow will go up and down too. It goes on the back too. Hmm? It goes. Oh, you can take it off? Yeah, it sits on the back. Ah. Hold on a second. Ah, you can put it on the back for when you're traveling in between jobs and you don't want to snowplow nothing. So, very cool. Oh, and it's got little flaps on the back. I don't know if you can see those. Yeah, there you go. For the, and in front of the tires, so. To keep the snow from getting all up in the engine and stuff. Or the, I guess it's not really the engine, but the, the wheel wells and stuff. So... I'll pass those back. Thanks, Louis. Mm -hmm. He's got the cat over there supervising. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it for this week. Happy New Year, everyone. And I'll see you all next week. All right. Bye.